Alright, so we've got five lights on. And it's the lights out that way we go. Thunder seems to have a war starring Jamie, and Jamie is getting away with that. Now, Unicor is on the inside of, uh, of Belgium. one, two. Thunder is looking to come back at him, though, on those medium tires. He's got the slipstream, he's pretty close. He's not deploying at the moment, though, so isn't Unicorn, and so isn't uh, uh, Jamie. Goes down the inside into bus stop, he's now gonna get the outside on the exit. Ryan pushes him a bit wide, and now Flevo is attacking, he's taking behind Bradley for now, though. And Bradley will try to make a move on Ryan, but he won't have the RS to his lap. Now, interesting at the, in the front, Perkins and hanging Guan Sandra right now on the other stick is going on the outside. And breaking into Lacombe, has he made the move down here? There's still wheel to wheel, and it's a virtual safety car. Was he ahead? Are they gonna keep side by side filing it in? Oh, good little gentleman. Wow. And it's <laughs> raining throughout this entire battle. It could, you could call this one perfect. I've seen this strategy before. As that goes around, oh, that's Vlad. That's the Romanian driver representing the rest of the world. And there's Riggedy and Nick now. And pretty early indeed. I don't think they expected it this early. Is somebody gonna pit all of the front cars oh, staying out? Bradley's got now. a little bit swelly, Willie. I think Bradley wanted to get one of the pit lanes, switching up to the enters. There's Flavor goes straight past Nick. Because he said Nick was. Uh, oh, Bradley goes wants to give up uh, any position, and he's got the RS on the inside of uh, Bradley. Has he made make the move? Done. Oh my! Wow! He's made the move on Bradley himself. Yeah, but he's going to be uh, compromised. Well, Jamie, you know the lead driver is just not going to get double stacked unless uh, there is a left car ahead of him, which isn't at the moment, and probably not going to be throughout this race. So. Jamie and Fergens, the two uh, other Belgian drivers, are in Unicar are basically the only two that have stayed out and let's see how that works out for them. It's a virtual safety car or something. Uh, do you know what happened? No. So that's kind of paid off. It has, uh, did Bradley box a little bit too early? Or do you think it was compromised, obviously? Uh, yeah, I, th I think uh, Bradley ended up in P2. And they're both going to box. They're going to have to. Oh, Lurkin's made a big error coming out of the funnel. Corner and lost a lot of time. Going at it left, right, and center. That's the Swede versus the, the Dutchman. And they're going to come out ahead of both Jamie still in the pits there and Verkins. So there it is. Bradley and Nick going with the real the outside, but then it will put the inside line there, but it will compromise the exit speed. No, it won't. Bradley's got the job done. Vlad Red snuck there through too. Nick dropped back another place, so he lost two positions just in that couple of corners. One mark, Vlad Red and Nick are all in this party. And usually it's a DRS party, but it's not a DRS party today because there's no DRS activated at this point, but it will be a little bit later. So one mark's putting a bit of pressure on Bradley. Give me the right camera angle, thank you, Cody. So we'll be looking behind the car when I crush it. As Nick's also going to be very careful to keep, you know, don't, don't take your teammate out, of course. You can see the different racing line climb up through a rouge. That's going to compromise his exit speed. Now, Will that one mark let his teammate Nick through? And what's going to be the orders between those two Brits as they go down into Lacombe? Like Nick made the move stick on Mark. And yeah, Nick now going on Blood Red. And Sandra is just behind Bradley now. Yeah, but what I was talking about before is Jamie uh, was showing a lot of pace uh, before. He had the ball, he had the Flevo just staying within that one second of Jamie, so he'll be hoping for it to dry up and go on and have some DRS. Check this out for the gamble. Oh, he's... Oh, Flevo so, spun and loaded. Oh, sorry. Flevo, yeah, sorry. There he is. That's Flevo. That's going to bring a safety car out. Now, this could work out brilliantly. There's the car again. I wanted to show you a couple of times. It's parked on the side of the road. That, where, where was that? That's... Uh, around again. Or we can just have uh, another lap of safety car, you know, it's good. It, it can wait for one more lap if the pack is the most bunched up on the 10 car lanes. Uh, I know it is for them, because the track I'm dries up, and then that uh, means that Riggedy right now, Bradley, they're in trouble. They are in trouble. This strategy is not paid off for them. Yeah, and to that matter, are uh, horrible. And even the uh, idiot sandwiches agree with you as an AI, like listening to Jeff. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, you're uh, getting a decent yeah. restart, Jamie, though. On his gearbox, is he gonna dive to the inside? I don't think so. This teammate not well going one, two, three. So not much happening at the front. So trying, to, trying to sneak through here. They could possibly do it. They're on a rampage. They're not happy with their strategy, but they're happy with their pace currently at the moment. Bradley's ahead now, Reedy. 
What driving? Then Bradley making move on both of them, and now Sandra makes the move into the on on Rickety. And Mark is looking at Rickety once again to get back at him. Now Danny Klee and Denzi, you'd probably be like, oh god, you don't want to hit those barriers. You know what happened last time to you in Austria, but here we go. So he's got to do it. It's immediately these World Cup events, isn't it? It's 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 your country at play. It's almost like your teammates, of course, but you also do want to get as many points as you can. You want to be the number one driver in your country. And he's fighting his way back. He's crawling his way back through this. He's not giving up. Look at the speed, and there is Verkin's going around. Verkin's going around. He was the back marker. He's not there anymore. They had a one, two, three. Perhaps it's not over yet, but glad you're tuning into this one, guys. This is fun. And that's, that's very unfortunate for the Belgians, losing one move. Although Vlad is deploying a lot, Bradley is deploying a lot. He's gonna go down the inside, Vlad's gonna go down the inside for the to not give Bradley slip stream, but Bradley makes the move in behind. But he's gonna have DRS here into the main straight, but is he gonna make the move here and give up the DRS to demonstrate? It seems like he's gonna try to, at least. He closes the DRS and opens it, and opens it again. I'm just trying to keep an eye on this battle. It's going to be a local yellow. I got a great camera angle from Cody, so I'm not changing that. Oh, Bradley made the move. It looks like goes in almost off the front wing there. It's a oh, you know, very difficult judging the braking distance, isn't it, from everybody in the pit lane entrance? Again, staying out again, and yeah, it's one. Where's Jemmy? You should see him. Oh, he did. You're right. His teammates slowed down to let him stay in the lead. Uh -huh. Jamie, for, uh, I'm sorry, uh, to stay in uh, the lead and to try to push. Now, this will have to be a Turkey of Paris. Lovely. Jamie has restarted. Now, Perkins and Unico have to back them up as much as they can. Not necessarily slow down the last. Perkins is being attacked by Bradley right now on the inside into a source, and that's a quick move by Bradley already up to uh, onto the podium position. One more Be uh, Belgian car to go before uh, Jamie on fresh uh, tires. So let's see if he can make the move. Yellow flag in sector one is Happy Pro. Yeah, it's Happy Pro oh, back going around. But yeah, come back in this battle at the moment. Bradley really putting pressure on. Massive amount of pressure. But the no DRS, but the traction, you can see the grip, just so much, so much better. Gone for it on the inside in Brussels. Now that's, okay, that was a big advantage on the grip. Now two seconds. Those two cars behind Jamie have both given him a lot of the road. Yeah, he's got, he's made a mistake somewhere. I don't know what's happened. He's been tapped. He's struggling with that traction, with grip. No, then again, he has a grip, and he's lost a couple of places here. So it's going pearl shape, but Bradley now has got a big second gap down the road. But further back at this battle at the moment there between Nick has got Mr. Riggedy right now for massive company climbing his way up through a rouge. Yeah, of course, still no DRS. But Nick is trying to come back at him around the outside, but can't, can't really make his stick, can't really put his car in there. Riggedy up to B5. Now he's got those two bumps. Jamie hold off Bradley for a little bit longer and can't, well, I don't know, can Verkins hold off these guys, this massive train behind him? Them, as Bradley is not close enough to have the RS on Camel Straight, and I think unless Jamie makes a mistake, that strikes over for Bradley uh, as far as uh, the wind goes. But of course, P2 is a decent finish. It's not over it's yet. Really hot. And then Nick's in the mix here. Has he finally got it done? Give me a right camera angle, please, Cody's. Yeah, for the Dutch there, Happy Pro almost gets the points there for the Norwegian, and then the rest of the crew will wrap it up there. Idiot Sandwich is not in this one. Wow. Just struggling with the rain and pitting, or maybe a bit too late. Then once again on it with having top three cars there, that was amazing. And Jamie in the end on top with his teammate in P7.